I thought Christmas only came once a year. Welcome friends, welcome friends, welcome one and all, Blair Ballard, the Bon Vivant, very much at your service. I do hope you are all in the finest of festive forms because yes, Christmas has come early here at Bon Vivant Towers. I do have a bit of Christmas action, I'm really a sucker for the schmaltz. But anyway, um, this is going to be the start of a few shorter videos I'm going to sprinkle in amongst the larger videos with the pre-title sequences and the huge lavish budgets that we normally do because I feel it'd be nice for you to peek behind the blinds and have a look at some of the pieces of my Bond collection and also some of the smaller things that I think you'd be interested in as Bond fans that maybe wouldn't be suitable for a huge big video. Now, it'll come as absolutely no surprise to any regular viewers of the channel, I'm a huge fan of the spy who loved me. There are one or two rather special accessories. All right, Q, have I ever let you down? Frequently. <laughs> The main reason being is, well, it was the first film I saw, Bond film I saw, in the cinemas. I was six years old. I had seen this incredible uh, behind-the-scenes uh, children's program about the making of The Spy Love Me. I saw on TV, was absolutely hooked, and I badgered my parents who dragged me down to the cinema, rustled me in, and there I was, a six-year-old Blair, looking at the big screen, and I was absolutely mesmerized. I mean, it gave us so much. Um, obviously, we had the beautiful uh, locations, the gorgeous Anya Amatova played by Barbara Bach. It introduced us to Grand uh, Arch Henchman Jaws. We had, um, obviously, Wet Nelly in the form of the Lotus Esprit, which is still one of my favorite Bond cars of all time. If you haven't seen the, the, the Lotus video we did, I'll put a link up there. You must check it out if you haven't seen it because it's absolutely epic at the Top Gear test track. But it was also, in my mind, peak Roger Moore. It was the, he, Roger Moore at the height of his powers. He was third film in, he'd really got the hang of it. He looks great, the stunts are amazing, and talking about the stunts, I think it features one of the best pre-title sequences in any of the Bond films in the franchise. But especially, of course, due to the ski chase and then the Rick Sylvester jump off Mount Asgard. And you think, I mean, even Alan Partridge, oh my God, James Bond's going to die. He's going to die. And then, of course, the ripcord is pulled, the Union Jack parachute comes out, and Bond lives to fight another day. But the guys at 007.com online store have actually produced a limited run of 500 of these incredible snow globes. And I thought I'd buy myself one as a cheeky Christmas present. It's really intricately detailed. I mean, it just reeks of Christmas. I mean, look, here we go. We've got snow, we've got Bond off the... Look, there is, there's Roger in his lemon piping, his, his lemon ski suit. You can even, if the camera will pick it up, you can see the little chalet where Bond, we see Roger Moore at the beginning of the pre-title sequence and he's with a lady, of course. Um, but it's absolutely, it's all hand-painted, hand-made. There are 500 of them, it's real glass. It's a real quality item. You've got the spy who loved me um, underneath there as well. It's really a lovely piece. Now they're making 500 of these. They um, are a limited run. They're only available through the um, 007.com store. I'll put a link in the, um, in the description below. It's all hand painted, um, it's 3D, I mean, a really beautiful piece. And if you're a Bond fan, I oh, just think you should grab one for yourself. Treat yourself, you deserve it. Happy Christmas, there we go. But if your budget's, I mean, it's 99 pounds, 95 new pence uh, here in the UK. I'm not sure how that translates across uh, the pond or around Europe or in the Far East, if you're buying one uh, in the Far East, how much that equates to in your currency. But it's, I think, you know, it's a bit pricey, but it's really, really well made and would 
you know, brighten up your collection, no end but. If your budget is slightly smaller, might I draw sir or madam's attention to this, sticking with the spy who loved me. Um, it's a Christmas decoration. It really, it really doesn't translate well. The photograph on the website um, doesn't do this justice. I and mean, it's, um, it's really, really well made. It's apparently an te embroidery technique called Zardos embroidery. It's made by artisans in India uh, and it's got blue and red beads. It's made, it's really nice deep cushion. If you look at that there, it's really, really, really well made. It's got lovely blue velvet on the back. Um, it's got glass beads and uh, metal, uh, real metal th uh, thread for the embroidery and then uh, blue and red uh, beads as well. It's really, really well made. It's much more sort of substantial than the, the website would suggest. Um, I think it's absolutely wonderful. You've got a lovely sort of gun metal um, thread to hang it on your tree as well. £22 of anybody's money, that is an absolute bargain. Um, and get your skates on there or get your skis on because they might run out again. They have run out for a while. Wonderful. Sticking with the Christmas decorations, this is £20. I mean, I know it sounds like a lot, but look at the detail, look at the gold on there. This obviously evokes the Bond's family uh, motto, Orbis non features. Arms of Sir Thomas Bond, Baronet of Peckham, died 1734. Argent on a chevron sable, three besants. Good motto, eh? The world is not enough. Again, the gunmetal thread. This is real metal thread they've got on there as well. It's really, really well made. I, I think, you know, and it's not, it doesn't shout Bond, obviously. It doesn't scream, I'm a James Bond fan. If you don't know, you don't know, but it can be nestling on your tree and you'd be like, yeah, there we go. The world is not enough. Obviously that lends itself to, uh, to Piers uh, Brosnan's third acting as 007. Anyway, I hope this whirlwind blitz through the, um, the Christmas ideas I've just plucked from the website, which I bought for myself because I thought, well, you know, I want to get them in now before they sell out. Do get your skates on if you fancy them because they are probably going to sell out in the Christmas period. I think they are all absolutely wonderful and, you know, if you want to buy a present for your Bond loved one or a friend who's a Bond fan, give them a whirl. Anyway, there will be more videos to come. If you really enjoyed this video, please do hit that like and smash that subscribe button. There'll be long videos coming up. My colleague and a friend uh, and wingman, Gavin, has been recruited um, by Marlborough College to become the head of astronomy. So he's on, you know, flying in and out of, uh, of, of bon vivant duties, but he will be back very, very soon. We'll be having longer videos. We've got three videos all queued up, ready to, to release as soon as he's ready. But for now, this has been Blair Ballard, the Bon Vivant, bidding you a very Bondian and festive farewell. Stay safe, my very good friends.